everyone, today I will talk about the embouchure. So first I am going to explain how to use the embouchure right and then I will talk about do's and don'ts. First you need only your barrel, your mouthpiece, your ligature and of course your ring. First thing you have to do is to curve your lower lip a little bit inside. You will put the mouthpiece inside like this. So while doing that, you're covering your lower lip on top of the lower teeth, actually. And you should place your upper teeth on the top of the mouthpiece. You have to cover your upper lip on top of the mouthpiece also. Okay, so like this. So here that's it because you're going to ask yourself okay how much I should take the mouthpiece inside because this is really important so I am going to show you how to check as you know there is this little space in between the reed and the mouthpiece and when you look at that you see that it's ending quite somewhere around here so it's like the half of the reed so actually thanks to this space in between there is the vibration that the reed makes and that's how it creates the sound actually which means that we have to leave it free to be able to vibrate and to be able to create the sound so if you put your lower lip on top of the reed there is going to be no space anymore to be able to vibrate and where to put the upper teeth Actually, I'm using this mouthpiece protection and I suggest you to use the same thing because otherwise you can scratch your mouthpiece with your upper teeth. You really have to protect your mouthpiece and also it hurts upper teeth after a while if you don't use this, so totally suggested. You can see on my mouthpiece protection that I'm putting my teeth actually somewhere around here. So I show also from the side. It's it's quite somewhere there. Until here, it's the easiest part. Now it gets a little bit more complicated actually, because what you have to think is to say kind of E. Okay, when you say it, you see what you're doing actually. You're kind of pulling your muscles down around here, like E, 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 E. I also show from the side E. E. Let's repeat all together. So, middle of the reed. Here the upper teeth. Place on the lower lip. Curve. And cross. And pull it down. So let's try to make a sound. This is the kind of the sound that you're going to get if you use the embouchure like this. So what's happening inside of your mouth actually? So when you're using the right embouchure, also your tongue shouldn't stay in that position in your mouth. It must be a little bit curled and closer to the like upper part of your mouth here. Okay? So this is really important for the sound. And be careful that you're really using muscles around here and here so i guess we understood a little bit the basics of the embouchure now i'm going to compare like do's and don'ts and you're going to understand some stuff better so as i say you have to put your lower lip in the middle of the reed and you have to put your upper teeth just somewhere around here let's see what happens if you don't do it like this imagine that i take too much a little bit of the mouthpiece inside so not like this but like this oops yes it's more likely that you're gonna get a squeak i don't hear anymore <laughs> yeah you surely don't want that and what happens if i take just a little part of the mouthpiece inside let's see yeah the sound gets much smaller because as i told you there's no place to vibrate for the reed so let's do it the right way okay in the middle of the reed 
kind of down here. And of course, here the ankle is also really important. You shouldn't hold it like too much like this. You see, it gets a little bit flat. Or if you pull it a little bit too much, like. Yeah, it's completely another sound that we don't want to hear. That's the right angle. So there is another really important thing to know is that when you're uh, using your embouchure, like you put, okay, everything is fine. Don't bite too much and don't leave it too loose either. You really have to use your muscles around here actually to be able to do that because otherwise it's going to be your lip which is holding the mouthpiece, you know, or like you're going to put too much effort on your upper teeth we don't want that we don't want the pressure here you know like by biting it and you really have to train your muscles around your especially like lower lip because yeah otherwise you will get the tension and you will get squeaks you will not get a really nice sound and yeah it's going to cause some problems it's going to hurt also your lower lip because you're going to bite and it's going to cut inside so I'm going to show you what happens if you bite too much. And now I'm not biting too much. You see the sound gets much more round and quite more focused if I stop biting. And it's really important to use these muscles. I'm repeating again. And this is the most difficult thing to understand actually about the embouchure. I see it a lot with the students. I think they get it right after a lot of practice and a lot of work on it because yeah, it's really difficult thing to do. So you really have to focus on it. So there are some uh, practice methods for this. I suggest, I mean, imagine your natural position is like this. You see, you leave it relax, and uh, this is bad. I, actually, I know that it doesn't sound so bad, but there's a difference, just trust me. I'm going to show you what to do again from the side, like, really, you should pull it down as I told you. Natural position. Okay, so. some practice like this take the mouthpiece okay and from the natural position you have to pass to the embouchure okay like what you have to do is you remember this move and you can see when I do that all my muscles here you see in here like holding they are really strong and they are there to help to create the sound, okay? Because your lips has nothing to do. They're just there like a pillow in between your teeth and the reed. So let's have a closer look. As you can see, I use my muscles like super strong, okay? I'm not biting. You just need to use your muscles. That's how you're going to improve also your sound because otherwise you can't control your lips. The muscles can help you to control. So you do this exercise to work on it. I show from the side so you can see it more clearly. So it's like push-up workouts or something like this. You will see the book like I'm going to show also from the front it's going to look really funny I'm sorry about that so as you can see this position like when I'm pulling it down so that's the position you have to use actually and you see there is another thing I have to warn you about that. Please don't smile when you're 
trying to do the right embouchure because I say that always that you have to use your muscles around here so it must be really tightened around here you know but it doesn't mean that to make it like you know to use it tighten like eh, generally this is not the move like it's not up nothing goes up okay down instead not like So you should also work on it. Exercise number two. So I am on the position, okay? Like the right embouchure. And then I do the wrong thing. But I am not ruining anything here. Still. Down, okay? Okay, so this is the wrong position. No smiling. But think like an O. Oh. And actually I'm going to show you what happens if you play like smiling. I really don't like the sound like this because yeah, you should use your muscles. We need some effort to be able to play the clarinet for a long time. You know, I practice sometimes for six hours and I never have any pain because I don't have any pressure on my lip because I'm using my muscles. I hope I'm not going to forget anything in that video. So, okay, the other thing I would like to say is that, okay, I told you that you have to make an O shape but inside of the mouth, you have to think like E, okay? Uh, kind of like maybe or like V, you know, but some kind of E, okay? <laughs> so if you think another syllable, what happens? I mean, let's say that you're playing like O, you see your tongue already gets a little bit too much down and straight. I don't want that. I want that your tongue stays up, okay? So let's try the bad version. Okay, I can't control. I will put it up now. Like first straight and then I will curve it, okay? You see, there's a difference in between. It's really important. So after doing these muscle exercises I showed you and think of the position of the tongue and everything, you know, like the whole position actually, like the embouchure, you know, uh, you should also work on some long tones to get better at it. So please make sure that you're creating a nice sound, even not so much air inside. If you have so much air, just check that your read is not too hard for you or something. Uh, just try to blow and try to hold the note as straight as possible. I'm going to show you. So every time you move the mouthpiece and you try to take the position right away, just don't pass so much time like, okay, what I should do uh, here like this and like no. Just try to do it as fast as possible, you know, like because you need to get this reflex kind of like, you know, you can think like this already putting the mouthpiece like, like curving and put the teeth, cover and then pull it down. Some kind of thing, but you have to be able to do all of them in one. And it's gonna take some time, but if you are doing it too slow, every time taking too much time, it doesn't help with the situation. So you have to get this reflex as fast as possible and try to do it like really in a couple of seconds, okay? So. So at the beginning, if you found the right position, just don't ruin it, you know, just don't move. Do a couple of times with the right position. Okay, do it maybe 10 or 15 times.
times, okay? Try to hold as even as possible, you know, like on a straight line. Good quality sound, not shaking like like or like bad sound at the end like you don't have air anymore uh, so just don't push yourself too much either you know when you don't have any air left just stop breathe and start over then the next step is what i told you before you're gonna do the exercise like putting the mouthpiece blowing and again and then again you have to find the right i'm sure each time okay that video is about the air you know probably that you should send really fast air okay uh, if the air is too slow you're not going to get any sound uh, on your first trials because yeah I will show you now with the slow air it will sound like this there will be probably no sound or even if there's sound it's a little bit faster the air you know so we like this yeah this is not all you want we really want a strong nice even good quality sound okay already so try to focus on the air it must be come kind of like I'm going to show you okay just control well and make sure that you're using the air as fast as possible all right I hope that these tips will be helpful for you. If you like the video, please don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a nice practice and see you next time.